Hi, it's me, Crystal. I am Crystal Rasmussen, Diary of a Drag Queen, um, but also the Bible and Lord of the Rings parts one, two, three, and the unreleased part four. I'm known for being the author of the, the masterwork, the Bible, but also um, for being the richest woman on earth. For my collection of erotic essays, which are going to be published in the fall, but also um, for being kind and wealthy. There's a chapter in Diary of a Drag Queen, I think it's March the 1st, all about being non-conforming and how people treat you on the street. And I think that would be good for a lot of people to read. Um, yeah, March the 1st, Diary of a Drag Queen. Honey, I prefer lies. Diary of a Drag Queen by Crystal Rasmussen. I don't know, I've read like three books and it, all three are mine. Yeah, a text that I just sent to my mom saying, please get me a burrito, that changed my life but also Secret Diary of a Call Girl when I was 17 in Benidorm with my girlfriends because I'd never actually finished a book in my life. And uh, it was the first book I finished and I remember thinking, oh my God, this is like a, a really big, in a way, a big idea that I now totally understand. So I think that's, um, that was super inspiring for me. And also it's kind of the only book I've ever really finished. I would be a killer whale because I'm a dying breed but also because I protect my young and I'm kind of big but beautiful. Shave them off. <laughs> Literally, I did, you, they're just coming back, but shave them off. Never sip a shot, never look inside a sandwich, and there's always gonna be people who don't really like who you are, but you just have to believe that they're wrong and you're not wrong. And that's, unless you are wrong about something, but you know, I'm talking in terms of identity. Um, yeah, if someone has a problem with you, then, then it's those people that are in the wrong. Don't ever believe that it's you. When I was at university, a professor told me um, that in order to succeed, I would have to change my accent because my accent is actually Northern um, because I'm from a small town up North. And they told me that in order to be taken seriously, people couldn't bear to hear an accent like mine, but um, that was pretty bad advice because I published a book and he's dead. The last gift I gave someone, a blowjob and a piece of my mind. The last gift I received was actually a little typewriter charm that um, a few of my friends clubbed together to get me to celebrate the release of my book Diary of a Drag Queen by Crystal Rasmussen, published by Ebury. Dragula, by far. If you know, you know. You know? Well, I'm a writer, but I'm also a, a, a performer, so you kind of have to be both. So I write in the morning, then I watch Real Housewives all day, and then I get ready, and I go out, and I, you know, live in the night. Um, so I'm both. The average amount of time it takes me to do my makeup is an hour and 10 minutes. Oh, honey, I take my makeup off. Shame on you, shame. Tea gives me heartburn, so I don't take tea. Detestable. I have a beautiful friend who lives in um, East London. Um, and so whenever I get to Allgate East, I always feel really happy because I know I'm gonna see my wonderful friend. So Allgate East. Oh, but also Tottenham Court Road because once I had sex in there. I remember my first teenage entry being Hello World, which really says something about the kind of diary I was writing. That's why I published it. 